Even if I filled this entire video with dramatic B-roll shots like this one, it would not help the Dell G3 to look sleek at all. There's just no getting around the fact that this Dell laptop looks like at one point it was fresh and new and innovative, but now just kind of looks old. But looks can be deceiving, and though this 2018 laptop from Dell doesn't look all that new, the components under the hood give you a really good amount of power and performance for its $700 starting price tag. We've gotten many requests to take a look at this laptop, and I understand why. For 700 bucks, the Dell G3 packs eight gigs of RAM, a GTX 1050, and an eighth gen i5 processor. For the price, those specs aren't too bad, and it makes this machine totally capable of running popular titles in 1080p, but to get to that performance at this price point, you are making some major compromises in terms of design and build quality. The entire machine is made out of plastic and it feels very cumbersome and bulky. Carrying this thing around with you in a backpack isn't the end of the world, but at five and a half pounds, this thing is no lightweight either. There is no ignoring the massive bezels around the 15 inch display, which I found honestly to be pretty mediocre. Colors on the display are gonna be okay for gaming and watching YouTube videos, though viewing angles aren't great and it doesn't get super bright either. Despite all of that though, the design does have some redeeming qualities I do wanna mention. I actually found the keyboard to be one of the best parts of this machine as a whole. There's good key spacing between the keys, there's good key travel, and I found it really comfortable to type on for long periods of time. You're foregoing any kind of crazy RGB backlighting for just a solid blue keyboard backlight, which is just fine by me. No frills, no thrills, but it gets the job done. The trackpad below looks promising. It's one big button with a fairly large surface for navigation and gestures, but it has a kind of a weird texture on top of it that makes it sort of slippery. And you're also reminded of its totally plastic build every time you feel and hear that loud mechanical click. But putting the design aside for a minute, let's focus on how well this gaming laptop can actually play games. With four gigs of video memory, thanks to that GTX 1050 inside, this thing is capable of playing pretty much every major title out there. You're gonna have to adjust those settings a bit to get solid playable frame rate. Medium settings seem to be the sweet spot on the G3 with pretty much every game that I tested. I could easily achieve 60 frames per second in Fortnite and PUBG, both on medium settings that looked pretty good. And that Core i5 inside is more than adequate for some light photo and video editing as well. Don't expect anything revolutionary here, but if you wanna mess around in Photoshop or edit some video in Premiere, this thing is totally capable of doing so. We always try to run a standard set of benchmarks across all the laptops we get in for review. And if you're curious on how the Dell G3 stacks up to other laptops, like the Lenovo Y530 or even the higher end Razer Blade, you can compare these results on screen to the ones in those videos. And here's how the G3 measured up in our various PC mark tests. Gaming laptops aren't exactly known for having the best battery life, and unfortunately, the Dell G3 is just no exception. I found I could get about four and a half to five hours on a single charge, which is great for using it around the house or near an outlet, but if you're gonna go out to a coffee shop or taking this thing to class, definitely do not forget to pack that charger. And while you're at it, I definitely would recommend bringing some headphones along with you as well, because the built-in speakers on the Dell G3 just aren't all that good. It's fine for casual movie watching or watching YouTube videos, but if you wanna sit down and actually listen to some music or listen into some good sounding audio, bring a pair of headphones. But on the plus side, you won't have any issue connecting those headphones to the G3, especially if they're wired, thanks to the G3's pretty traditional array of ports. You've got multiple USB-A ports here, an HDMI port, and even a full-sized ethernet port and an SD card slot. But one important note to make here is that you're totally missing out on USB-C. Not really exactly future-proof without that USB-C port across all the models of this G3, and it would have been even better if Dell would have made it a Thunderbolt 3 port, definitely would have future-proofed the machine, but you're just not getting that on this model. So after using this thing for the past few months off and on, I definitely realized that there were some compromises made on this machine to get it to a particular price point with a certain set of components inside, and my opinion is kind of mixed, I'm a bit torn. On one hand, I gotta give Dell credit where credit is due. I know many of you out there would rather sacrifice any kind of fancy design or RGB or some super high-end screen for the best components, the best performance, and the best value you can get for your money. And I think that when it comes down to this Dell G3, most of the money you're paying is definitely going into those components and you should be pretty happy. But on the other hand, when you're not gaming and enjoying those components, those small design trade-offs I talked about earlier are very noticeable and they just do not go away those bezels around the display, the plastic build, the trackpad, those things are all very apparent when you're using them day in and day out, and it can get a little old pretty fast. 
So if you're looking for a full-fledged budget gaming laptop for under $1,000, the Dell G3 is a great machine to start with, and it does have some fairly easy upgradability for some of the components inside this machine, so you can invest in better parts when you have the money. But I will say that if design of your laptop, thinness, screen quality, or even port selection is important to you, a little bit more money investing into a higher-end laptop may go a really long way. So what do you guys think about the Dell G3? We got a lot of comments to check out this laptop from other videos, so that is exactly why we are doing this video and reviewing it. What are your thoughts? Do you care about performance more than you do design? Do you like the components and everything you get for each $700 starting price tag? Leave a comment down below and let us know. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I am Robert Rosenbaugh with Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you in the next one.